Hi everyone, John Susser here in the Weather Center keeping you updated on Hurricane Dorian. It is, yep, midnight. It's midnight outside right now, and this hurricane unfortunately is going nowhere. Put my finger right in the eye and it's not moving. Stationary almost all day long, 24 hours plus of just incredible wind and waves over the northwestern Bahamas, uh, and it's going to continue at least overnight tonight. Some of the spiral bands are coming in especially to Fort Pierce, all the way down Interstate 95. Some of these bands could produce some brief uh, tropical storm force wind gusts, some very heavy rain, and may even spawn a brief tornado. But notice right now the eye is about 25 miles northeast of Freeport and just sitting there just spinning. But sooner or later, it's going to get picked up by this trough coming out from the west, and the high is going to shift to the east, allowing for it to go ahead and move northwest and then eventually to the north. So it's going to slowly weaken at least the core, which is right around the eye itself, but the... It, the entire hurricane itself continues to get larger and larger, so the wind field is going to cover more area. So even though the track is pretty confident it's going to stay offshore, from the center outward 150 miles, you have tropical storm force winds. So we're going to see tropical storm force winds along the Georgia and both South and North Carolina coast, along with the potential for hurricane force gusts starting as early as Wednesday maybe Wednesday night, Thursday, and into Thursday evening, and then everything starts to shift finally offshore by the time we get into the upcoming weekend. This is the good news, is all the computer models are now really compact now, so very confident, and that's the reason why the track from the Hurricane Center is right there, mainly staying offshore. It could get very close to the Outer Banks as we get into the end of this week. Here's where the hurricane warnings continue from Deerfield Beach all the way up through Cape Canaveral up to south of Jacksonville, and from Jacksonville through Brunswick and also... Uh, uh, all the way up into Charleston, Hurricane Watch continues. And then further inland, we even have tropical storm warnings continue for around the Orlando area. So this system's going to finally start to move. And once it does, it's still going to be a strong Category 2 or 3 as it gets off the Carolina coast Wednesday and Thursday with hurricane force winds certainly possible along the Grand Strand, Charleston, and up into Wilmington. So. Uh, this is a monster hurricane. It's a slow mover. In fact, it's not moving right now, but eventually it's going to pick up its forward speed. But we're going to be dealing with this hurricane all week long. The next update on Dorian will come at about 4 o'clock in the morning. I hope you have a good night.